Did Elon Musk blow up a bunch of rockets for his own enjoyment? Or did he not, uh, on account of them being really expensive to make? Find out more on today's Musk Flash! Oh, RIP headphone users. We want to start this episode of Musk Watch with a salute to a giant of space travel and research, the Cassini spacecraft, a joint mission between NASA and the ESA that has spent the last 13 years orbiting Saturn until it plunged directly into the murky depths of Saturn this past Friday. Launched back in 1997, the spacecraft made it to Saturn's orbit in 2004, where it delivered the Huygens, Huygens. Probe, probe to Saturn's moon Titan, the first landing humanity has made in the outer solar system. And the spacecraft had to take its death plunge partially because it learned too much. Too much. And this is the real interesting part, because we learned from Cassini that Titan and Enceladus have conditions that are possibly conducive to life. NASA didn't want the spacecraft to just float around without any fuel and possibly crash into one of these moons and contaminate it with microbes from Earth because Cassini's a real dirty probe. Ugh, Earth probes. And speaking of spaceships crashing, Elon Musk finally released that epic SpaceX fail compilation he teased back in August when he said, quote, putting together SpaceX rocket landing blooper reel. We messed up a lot before it, it, it finally worked, but there's some epic explosion footage. <laughs> Titled, How Not to Land an Orbital Rocket Booster. This video is kind of genius in that it really showcases just how hard rocket science really is. It's part of it. When you really stop to think about it, it's gotta be one of the most expensive YouTube videos ever made. Think of everything that went into it. Millions and millions of dollars worth of rockets had to blow the f up to make this. And believe me, there's some real gems in there, like this one, and that one, and Whoa! The video is scored to the theme to Monty Python's Flying Circus, which is a good song and all, but I think they kind of missed the opportunity for some classic yakety sex. See, just just imagine it. Here, look at this video right here. We can't afford this. We can't. And moving on from there, seamless transition, mm. NASA just completed its real life sequel to The Martian. Surprise. Six research. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're just like. <laughs> no, I, you didn't see the thumb. I did it. <laughs> Six research. Six research subjects who lived in isolation under Mars-like conditions for the last eight months in the middle of a Hawaiian volcano have emerged. Safe and sound. Holy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> what Wow. A, what, a, what an Airbnb. The test was to showcase the psychological effects of a long-term mission on our feeble human brains, but it had me wondering, did they bring back any poop potatoes or potatoes or palm sheets or, uh, ooh, 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 uh, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, friaria? That's pretty good. No. No, they didn't. What about some classic ABBA CDs? Disco, anybody? <laughs> also, would you classify their trip as a drama or a comedy? Come on, even Matt Damon's trip to Mars and back in The Martian is shorter than this extended Martian joke. We should stop. Unless you buy Musk Watch on Blu-ray and DVD coming soon to Ultraviolet. Anyways, welcome back to the real world, research subjects. We thank you for your service. Why'd you say it like that? I don't know, man. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing Matt Damon portray all six of you in The Martian 2, The Martians Take Manhattan. Or The Martian 3, The Clumps. Next up, turns out the U.S. government is just as hyped for the next Star Wars as the rest of us. Who is Snoke? This is because some members of Congress are now calling for the creation of a grand army of the Republic to fight wars in space. The Space Corps. The Space Corps. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, the Space Corps would be a distinct branch of the military separate from the Air Force, Navy, Army, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard that would defend our country in the great beyond. And no, I don't mean in heaven. That is a different division. And this isn't the first time the military got hyped in the Star Wars saga. Remember President Reagan's proposed strategic defense initiative in yeah. the 80s, which was nicknamed Star Wars? Well, you know what they say about 80s nostalgia. Everything old is new again. Uh -huh. Everyone's just trying to cash in on those sweet 80s references, Tron. Yeah, because where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, it's like I always said, uh, <clears throat> 1986, River's Edge. Hey, in Jurassic Park, scary in the dark. That was in the 90s. That was a 1990 uh, movie release. 1993, I, I believe, to be what, specific. Whatever, 
We need space. And before we go, it's time for your must-see moment of the week. Must Here it see. is! Oh, come on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. There it is! <laughs> there it was. This isn't the first time I've said it, and it won't be the last, but Daddy Elon really is being a tease. Why is it always a sex thing with you? <laughs> I don't know, Musk man. has really been trying to build hype for the reveal of his raging Tesla semi-truck by tweeting, quote, Tesla semi-truck unveil and test ride tentatively scheduled for Act 26 in Hassan. Worth seeing this beast in person, it's in real. He cannot wait to whip this beast out. He Ugh. then even posted on his Instagram saying, Tesla electric super heavy duty semi unveil on Act 26 at our design studio in Hawthorne, California. It's a beast. What a beast. It's a real beast. We don't know what it is about the Tesla Semi that is so beastly, but we do know that it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> the thing that I do know about it is that this Raging Semi is gonna be a real uh, beast. And that's all the time we have for this beastly episode of Musquatch. Good Bye. beast. What? Good beast. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's Musk Watch. Remember to like and comment below. Please, our lives depend on your sweet, sweet likes. This is deadly serious. They're gonna cut our heads off. Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Musk Watch! <laughs> <laughs>